The claim, citing current and former U.S. officials, says Trump shared details about a Daesh terror threat related to the use of laptop computers on aircraft with Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Russian Ambassador to the U.S. Sergei Kislyak. A Middle Eastern ally was believed to have provided the sensitive information but has numerously warned American officials that it would cut off access to such details if it were shared. White House officials scrambled to deny the claim, saying that their president only shared hey, concerns evening, about terrorism. The story that came out tonight, as reported, is false. The president and the foreign minister reviewed a range of common threats to our two countries, including threats to civil aviation. At no time, at no time, were intelligence sources or methods discussed. Meanwhile, top U.S. intelligent Democrats have blasted Trump over the allegation, saying that it would be a slap in the face to the U.S. intelligence community if found true. Trump's disclosure to Russia does not appear illegal, in which a president has the power to declassify almost anything. However, sharing disclosed material without the permission of the ally could disrupt, beside a crucial relationship, the ally's espionage efforts. Jordan is a key ally in the U.S.-led international military coalition against Daesh, which controls territory in neighboring Syria and Iraq. According to a statement, King Abdullah II is to speak by phone later on Tuesday to discuss the allegations.